Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I wanted to cover a topic that the regular hosts on Pagan Perspective covered in August. That topic is, of course, spiritual tattoos. I think tattoos are phenomenal ways to show our beliefs, our inspirations, our art style in a really permanent and meaningful way. Of course, I love those people who have a spiritual meaning behind their tattoos, and my tattoo that I have is filled with spiritual meaning. When I was in college, I drew a design that used a couple symbols that meant a lot to me at the time. I sat on this design for years before I ever put the tattoo on my body. There were never any other symbols or designs that meant as much to me as this design that I did in college, so I knew that I wouldn't regret putting it permanently on my body. These symbols included the traqueta and the triple spiral. These are both Celtic symbols and that was important for my cultural history and connecting to my family ancestry. My sister had a giant Celtic knot on her back and my brother has a typical Celtic cross on his shoulder that he actually went all the way to Ireland to get done. So my Celtic symbols would be a way that I could connect to the tattoos that my siblings also had and really reinforce that family connection. To me, the Triquetta is a great symbol of three and made maiden, mother, goddess, past, present, future, earth, sky, water. Those sets of threes that really pop up in my life in many ways and many times and have a lot of power for them and for me. The triple spiral is an amazing symbol because it connects me to the infinite cycle of the universe, to kind of surrendering to the flow of what happens and that cycle is always repeating itself but slightly different. There are tweaks and ever deepening meanings to find in whatever practice you're doing. So these symbols combined had a lot of meaning for me and my spiritual practice and continues to. They're great reminders for what really matters in my life. There's kind of more meaning behind them but it's hard to put into words all of the depth so I'm gonna leave it as brief as possible. Now I placed this tattoo on my upper back kind of right behind my heart chakra. I did that for a few reasons. One, because your heart chakra is a really powerful place and I think those symbols that mean so much to me being right there where I kind of focus all my love and energy out is powerful in my practice. It's also practical in the sense that I can cover this tattoo up if I need to. I work for the state, so sadly there are still some people in Western society that have judgments against tattoos, so I can avoid that if I need to by just wearing a t-shirt or, you know, whatever. It's very easy to cover up. At the same time, I can show it off and I do have, you know, tank tops and different clothing that have cutouts that allow me to really emphasize my tattoo and, and how important it is to me. Interestingly, I know a lot of people who get tattoos and then want more or, or really want to, to grow on it or, or add to it and make it this big elaborate art piece and that has never been something that I've desired. I really love the simplicity and black and white just elegance to my tattoo and after getting it I haven't had the desire at all to get another one. Maybe that will change in the future but right now I'm really pleased with just how simple it is. Thanks for letting me share about my tattoo and in the comments below I would love to hear if any of your tattoos are spiritual or if you've been thinking about getting a spiritual tattoo. Thanks for watching and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove. Today I have something a little different. I'm going to give you a tour of an earth ship. The last couple days Brad and I have been staring at an Airbnb and I thought you guys might enjoy a little bit of a tour. 